and it's a beautiful day today. Hope everyone's had a fantastic, fabulous, festive holiday and uh, wishing everyone, all of our wonderful viewers, a prosperous 2024. But today, as it's so bright, it's not particularly warm, but it's beautiful and bright. Just doing some housekeeping, chopping up some wood. Uh, kind of never-ending job, really. So the next job, which has been overdue, is something I noticed when I was doing the satellite dish a couple of weeks ago, and that's some damage to a roof, or the edge of the roof. Let me show you. 
so just where that downpipe is is where I put the temporary satellite cable. And while I was up there, I noticed that these edge tiles here had come adrift. They weren't lining up. Here we go. Luckily, we're not too high up. But can you see? It's not so bad at the top. But as you come down this roof line, you can see they're separating. And what's actually happened? This one at the bottom here is missing altogether unfortunately so i need to replace that i don't have one so i need to take a picture and go and get some but can you see they sit on some timber and that is either pushed out or it's warped or twisted and it's pushing the tile out and that's allowing water to get in and that's worsening the problem so with all of these jobs the easiest way to tackle them is just to take off take off these tiles and just have a look to see what we're dealing with. So um, let's get cracking with that and probably show you a bit more once I know a bit more myself. Okay, so the good news is the timber at this end, which is the upper end, is actually okay. But as we come further down, we see a couple of things which are odd happening. Firstly, this steps out, which it hasn't done here, look. If you take a look, you see that's almost flush. The timber is almost flush and they've put like a a strip down there to pad it out so that's almost flush with the tile but then when we come here we see that there is a significant overlap here so we certainly don't need this pad um, kind of needs to be in line with where these battens are look every batten is is split look that's bad um, so what I'm going to do now is just have a look to see if we take this piece of timber out or we just cut it down. Let's have a look, see how easy that will be. You can see kind of where those tiles are starting to rest on the roof there. You can see that the timber that they rest on starts to jut out and it comes out by a good inch and a quarter at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece out and then measure up the gaps and make a piece specially to fit. That's the idea. Maybe this is why, and just to complicate things just a little bit more, you can see that the end of the gutter there is actually resting on that timber I'm planning to remove. So there's a gutter support there. Now that's okay, we can make a bracket for it and come off that sister beam which is sitting next to it. Um, but that's something to consider when I take that off. So I've just made a cut here to take that piece out. And now all I need to do now is disconnect the gutter from this end. We'll remove this piece and we'll mark up a fresh piece and cut that specially to fit. Now I've just removed the end of the gutter bracket from this piece that we're removing. It's this piece here. But while I'm up here with the reciprocating saw, I'm just gonna nibble off the end of this because we know that we don't need 
to protrude, protrude beyond the edge of the tile. Now this is the original piece of timber and it has had some water damage to it but rather than me cut a fresh piece of timber to these dimensions because it's not standard uh, I am going to cut this I've scribed it already uh, down the line that it needs to be so I'm going to cut it first and see what the condition is on the inside uh, and then go from there see if this piece is salvageable it might well be so let's have a look Actually, look, this piece is fine. So it just goes to show how resilient the timber's been with a bit of treatment. It's had water on the top, but it is just on the surface. A little bit of damage there, but it's solid. So the next thing is now, now we've cut this, is to offer it up and see what it looks like. So there we go, we've got a flush line now running up and meeting the other one which is twisted out but actually whoever laid this roof the whole thing is bowed out in the centre there so you can't really do anything about that here but as long as those joints are tight and they're weatherproof that's all that matters. So let's get these tiles back up. Now what I can tell you about these tiles is they're called a mechanical tile and that means there's actually a slot and a groove where each tile fits into the next and you can see on these end tiles here you can see how these interconnect these mechanical tiles on top interconnect so even if water gets into here all it will do is run down this channel and into the next one run down the channel into the next one until it reaches the end. So that's a, that's a principle, so they kind of interlock, if you like, and I have to say, I far prefer a tiled roof, even though it's heavier than a slate roof, for all the things that we had go wrong in the chateau. Anyway, let's get these on. just spent the last 10 minutes or so looking for what I thought was a missing tile and uh, I had to I couldn't find it anywhere cut a long story short I went back through the videos that I took a couple of hours ago and realized that the one right at the end by the gutter was actually missing in the first place so I've got a couple to replace so I'm gonna it's obviously gonna be a gap now 
Uh, I'm going to um, just put back what I've got, um, maybe put some plastic over it for now, but uh, go and get some um, go and get some ones that match. But the good news is it's worked out well. OK, that's the repair done. Very happy with that. I'm just going to wait and get a couple of spare tiles for the top. There are some end tiles for the top. And then we're done on this job. I shall come back and fit those. So there we go. That's the repair done for today. I need to come back, as I said, do that top right hand corner. I'll get those soon. So while I'm at this end of the farmhouse, there's been quite a few comments about why the boot room hasn't been finished. And uh, as you can probably remember, we laid the floor. We've erected two, two quarters of the stud work around the room. So we need to do the stud on this elevation and also on the inner wall. I can't do any more until I find some doors. So I've got my Facebook marketplace alerts for secondhand port fenetras, which are window doors. Uh, which are the same hardwood as the rest of the cottage so it all matches even though we're waiting for secondhand stuff it should all match so once i get those i can knock out the hole uh, the opening fit the doors and then of course i can then stud on the inside up to that point uh, and then finish that job off so that's the reason why that one is delayed and we are quite keen to get going on it we're just as i say waiting so thank you very much for following us and for watching have a wonderful prosperous 2024 and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to our channel it really does help us grow bye guys